This is the Safe Catch Ahi Wild Yellowfin Tuna. For $11.99, you get eight packets of three ounces of tuna in each packet. I've never had this before, so let's take a look at the package, heat it up a bit, and give it a taste test. Every tuna mercury tested, 26 grams of protein per pouch. Here are the nutrition facts. And I like the fact that this thing only contains yellowfin tuna and sea salt not much else. If you look at the sodium content, only 260 milligram per pouch. So that's pretty reasonable. Every tuna tested to a mercury limit of 0.1 parts per million. Apparently this is supposed to be pretty low. A healthier and better tasting tuna, mercury varies widely even in small tuna. This is why we test every single tuna for mercury before we take it. Tunas are pretty big, so I guess they can test each and every single one. We're able to test every fish because we invented a new technology. Safe Catch delivers amazing purity for athletes, kids, and pregnant women. Safe Catch Ahi is the official tuna of the American Pregnancy Association. Safe Catch packs raw solid tuna steaks without pre-cooking them to retain vital oils, nutrients, and freshness, and slow cooks each steak once in the pouch to perfection. So they're cooking it within this pouch, I guess. We hope you love it. Sean and Brian founders. Actually looks pretty delicious. I guess maybe it's a packaging, but it comes in eight packs like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight packs. It says the same thing on every packet. Eight packets for $9.50. This means each packet is about $1.20. I'm just going to heat this packet up a bit before I open it up and eat it. There are no cooking instructions, but it does say knead the pouch to retain the natural oils. Okay, I'll knead it a little bit. It smells kind of like canned tuna. It smells, um... Slightly like cat food, because there's that fish smell to it. I don't know why when I read the yellowfin tuna, I kind of was expecting hamachi, like sushi, like raw yellowfin tuna. I do understand that it's cooked, but for some reason I thought, this is not what I expected. But you know, in retrospect, it's tuna, basically tuna. So let's give this a try. It's definitely not heavily salted, which is something I do like. Um, if you want it more saltier, add it yourself, right? You can't take away salt usually, so. It tastes overcooked, like overcooked fish, like your regular chicken of the sea, bumblebee, fish, um, kind of overcooked tuna. That's what's in the regular bumblebee. Except I think um, it doesn't have any salt water in it, so it probably is a lot better for you. It only contains fish. You do have to watch out for the mercury content though. You probably don't want to eat this every single day, even if they say it has a really low uh, mercury content. Probably can make a good tuna sandwich with this. I can't really pick out why it's yellowtail flavor. I was also somewhat expecting it to taste like hamachi kama, like yellowtail um, tuna, uh, the collarbone, what you get at a Japanese uh, restaurant for some reason. So this, this is definitely like overcooked fish. Well done. Has all the natural oils in it. So you can, you know, just, Drink all of it too, and use all the all the oils that comes out of the fish. This is probably really handy if you're gonna make it with like other foods. I can see this being cat food too. You can probably just buy these pouches and feed it to your cat if it's not as expensive. I don't know how much cat food costs these days, but if one pack is a dollar twenty, um, and your cat is able to eat just you know, just this protein. <laughs> Tastes good. I think you can like open up a pack of this stuff, mix it in with your pasta, and you know, you can just 
put some protein in it, put some um, savory flavor in your food if you're not eating um, any kind of meat that goes along with it. It's like instant meat, bam, put some instant meat in your food and you call it a day. It is salty though, you can still taste it's kind of salty. Now, will I buy this again? I guess it's okay. It's like a um, staple kind of thing. You know, it's not something I would crave for and just go, oh my gosh, I gotta keep on eating these packets. I do try to not eat too much tuna to minimize my mercury intake. I go for uh, much smaller fish, maybe like sardines instead. It's my go-to. These are good with the low salt content and nothing else added to it. So yeah, I, I guess I would recommend getting this. That's all there is to this review. Thanks for watching.